Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to review um, the last homework worksheet that you worked on, and I'm going to take the time to thoroughly go over the answers um, with you. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take out this homework sheet. There were five problems on it. Um, this is what it looks like. So I'd like you to hit pause and take out this worksheet so you can be ready to go over the answers with me. Have this worksheet, a pencil, and a calculator with you. Okay, so I'm going to go over the first problem with you as carefully as I can. So in this first problem, the middle part of this is a square. So to find the area of the square, I multiplied 7 times 7, and I got 49 as the area of the square. There are different ways of doing this, but what I did was, after I found the area of the square, I saw that there were four triangles. So there's one here, I'm outlining them. There's one here, there's one down here, and there's one on the side. And I saw that all four triangles were equal. So I knew if I found the area of one of them, I would just times it by four to get all four combined. So the area of each triangle has a height of 3 and a base of 7. So when I multiply 7 times 3, base times height divided by 2 is the formula for the area of a triangle. 7 times 3 divided by 2 is 10.5. Since there were 4 triangles, I did 10.5 times 4. So remember, a number outside of parentheses means to multiply. And that's how I got 42 for my 4 triangles. And now I have to add together the four triangle areas, 42, plus the area of the um, square. And when I add those numbers together, I get 91 inches squared for the area of this entire composite figure. Okay, so that was number one. Number two, I'm going to move my, um, my figure over for you here. I saw that this is a triangle right here. So the triangle has a base of 10 and a height of 3. So when I plug that in, my formula, base times height divided by 2, I get 15. This polygon right here that I'm outlining for you is a trapezoid. Okay, it's a trapezoid. It has two bases, 7, 7, right here, sorry, I outlined the wrong line for you, 7 and 10, and the height is 6. So here's my formula for the area of a trapezoid. Base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So remember, a letter outside of parentheses means to multiply. Base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. The bases are 7 and 10. 7 plus 10, 17, times 6 divided by 2. And when I do all that math, 17 times 6 divided by 2, I get 51. And when I add my two areas together, the triangle area plus the trapezoid area, 51 plus 15 is 66 millimeters squared. Area, remember, is always expressed in square millimeters. Okay, so let's look at problem number three. So if I look at problem number three, I see that there were two triangles and a rectangle. Okay, so let's do the rectangle first. The rectangle has a base of 30, or a length, I should say, of 30, and a width of 15. So 30 times 15 gives me 450. Okay, there's lots of different ways of doing this. Um, this is one way that I did it. I found the area of these two triangles, okay, and the rectangle. Um, what you could have done is you could have enclosed this, drew a line this way, found the area of the whole entire thing, and subtracted a trapezoid, but I didn't do it that way. Okay, so my area of my rectangle was right here. Again, 30 times 15 is 450. For the area of triangle 1, I numbered them 1 and 2 so that you could see which area I found. The area of triangle 1 had a base of 15 and a height of 10. So the formula is base times height divided by 2, and that gave me 75. This had a base of um, 5, and the height was 10 for triangle 2. 
So 5 times 10, how did I know this was 10, by the way, because opposite sides are equal. So 5 times 10 divided by 2 is 25. And when I added up all three areas, that gave me 550 inches squared. Okay, let's go to problem number 4. Problem number four, you could have found the area of the whole thing and subtracted. What I did was I decided to just break it up into a triangle and a rectangle. My triangle, though I had to figure out my base of my triangle. So the way I did that was from here to here was five and from here to here is four. So that made this entire base nine. Same thing here. This entire line is 12, okay? And from here to here is 3, because this is 3. So 3 plus 9 gave me 12. So I knew that the triangle had a base of 9 and a height of 9. So base times height divided by 2 gave me 40.5 for my area of my triangle. My rectangle was 5 times 3. Length times width is 15. And when I add together 40.5 plus 15, I get 55.5 centimeter squared for the total area. Okay, problem number five, which is the last homework problem that I gave you, looks like this. And what I did was I found the area of the entire rectangle, okay, which was 12 times 9, 108 feet squared, and I subtracted the area of the um, triangle. So the way I did that was I knew that the um, triangle had a base of 5 and a height of 5. So base times height divided by 2, 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 feet squared for the triangle. The reason you have to subtract is because the triangle is missing. You know, I picture this rectangle as a cake, and this triangle is missing. It's cut out. That piece was cut out of the cake, so it's missing. So anytime something is missing, you have to subtract. So I took the area of the rectangle, the whole thing, and I subtracted the area of the triangle. And when I subtract those two areas, I get 95.5 feet squared. So I hope you are understanding this lesson. I know it's a little complicated. Um, I do love making the charts. As you see, I make them in every problem so that I find my areas and either add them together or subtract them. Usually you add them and you only subtract them when it's missing. But I do love making these charts. I feel like it's a nice, organized way of doing it. Okay, here I didn't make a chart. I just kind of listed them. But um, I try to make charts when I can. It's a nice, organized way of showing you work and also kind of like letting your brain understand the steps involved in an organized way. So please email me if you have any questions at all. Again, I know this is not easy. It's not easy in person, and it's really not easy when we're doing it online together. So hope all is well. Hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I miss everyone terribly, and, and I definitely miss teaching you in the classroom. So we will still stay in touch with one another. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. And that's it. Signing off for now. See you on the next video. Bye.